everyone welcome back my name is Elle and today we are going to go over how to take aesthetic pictures in Disney Dreamlight Valley let's first talk about taking screenshots while not in camera mode we are able to keep our character still and move the camera with the right joystick or mouse if you are on PC this could be cute for close-up areas and you can always crop out your status bar later now let's explore the actual camera mode implemented in this game. We have a couple of options that we can work with here depending on which mode we are in. This is selfie mode. We can rotate the camera with the right stick, crouch with LT. We can also take a capture with the start button and hide the UI with select. We can no also use the LB and RB toggles to attain different stances and effects to our pictures. The most important options here are change image format, which is X on Xbox, and change camera mode, which is Y on Xbox. And you can see these options on the bottom left corner of the screen. Change image format will give you the option to toggle full screen, portrait, and Polaroid captures. Change camera mode will allow you to switch between selfie mode, third person mode, and then landscape mode. You can view the pictures for these modes at the top right of your screen. These are not official names, I just name them what makes sense to me. For third person, you can see your entire body and also capture details of your build. But this mode is not that good for photographing an entire area, right? That is why the next option, which is landscape mode, is best. This is where it gets tricky. If you notice, whatever way your character is facing is where the camera is going to look. We can manipulate this to our advantage by switching to the mode and then rotating. You can also face your character whatever way intended to achieve this faster. If you mess up, you can also rotate through the different modes to achieve the angle that you want for this specific mode. As you can see here, I'm showing you that whatever way your character is facing, once we enter landscape mode, the camera will automatically go to that view, and so rotating is helpful. Ultimately, we can get really nice pictures of our areas with our character included using the landscape mode. For those of you on Switch, my dear friend Ely has posted a visual tutorial on her socials to help explain step by step how she takes wide angles with her character in them. I've linked her socials down below. Please go support her. She is amazing. Unfortunately, we do not have the ability to remove our character yet. If you do not want your character in the shot, I will go over how I take pictures in this game. We are going to enter furniture mode as you would when you decorate. On Xbox, it is LT and L to move the camera while in this mode. RT and R to zoom in and out, and then R to rotate the camera in general. If you want a close-up of a couple items, you can zoom in. If you want a whole area photographed, you can zoom out to your own desire. I personally love giving a zoomed out diagonal look, and you will notice that in my pictures of my builds that I have posted on my social media. The unfortunate thing about this mode is that you cannot remove the user interface, so you will have to crop out the left blue menu. You will also have to deal with seeing your item count, the undo buttons, and some of the other controls. You can always Photoshop these out or crop them out later. I'm hoping that we can obtain an option to get rid of these altogether in a future update. Hint, hint, Disney. In order to capture this area, I will take a screenshot. I normally decorate on my PC, so I'm just going to screenshot with that, but ultimately you can take a screenshot on your Switch or console too. Another issue is that while you are in furniture mode, you will be able to see the placement grids on tables no matter what you do, even if you place items on top of them. 
The only fix for this is if you take a picture with your phone in game with your character in the photo. So you'll have to go back to using your cell phone in game and the actual Disney Dreamlight Valley camera mode. I have tried multiple things and it's just not possible to get rid of the grids in furniture mode. You can also get rid of the grids by exiting completely out of furniture mode and um, the camera mode and just taking screenshots while in game. We talked about this briefly before, but I really like how Disney added in different stances, facial expressions, and then also filters and frames that we can utilize. I also created a Lightroom preset bundle. You'll get seven different presets. That is on my Ko-Fi link in my bio. Let me know in the comments what you think of the photography mode that Disney implemented, any changes that you would like to see. That concludes our photography tutorial today. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting my channel by liking and subscribing. Turn on notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Thank you all for watching and have the loveliest day.